<clears throat> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to on the show to recap my se second final game of the night here. I'm right here to recap the Dallas Mavericks beating the New York Knicks 128-124 reaction. Uh, the Knicks tried a late rally uh, in the second half after having a really rough first quarter, you know, going down 44-26. I thought their defense was pretty good there three quarters. But that first quarter really gone behind, and I thought it really did them in. And, um... And the Knicks finally lost their first game, you know, since they acquired OG and Anobi. Uh, they've won all their previous games this game. I believe they lost their first one. Uh, but y'all you know, give props to the Knicks. They were down by 18 after the first quarter. But they fought hard and had a real... They outplayed um, Dallas the second half, I thought, just a little bit too short. And that first half really killed them. 30-plus um, from Randall and Brunson. Randall had 32 points. Uh, five assists, had six rebounds. Uh, Twelve of twenty-three. So Julius Randle played really good. I thought he had a decent game. The Knicks were just a step slow the entire first half. Brunson Randle got to tighten up and play better. It's kind of too sloppy, even though they scored a lot too sloppy. Um, Brunson and Randle kind of had C games despite scoring a lot. Randle did have two steals. Comeback attempt falls short. They both dropped 30. Great fight. Who won the finals? 36 minutes by 14. Unfortunately, when one team shoots 70 to 80 in the first quarter, it's hard to overcome. And OG was somehow plus 14 in this game. But the Knicks now fall to 22 and 16, sixth in the Eastern Conference. He just doesn't provide on the defensive end as Julius Randle at times. Like he, sometimes he just doesn't provide on the defensive end. I thought um, Dante DiVincenzo and Isaiah Hart both played some pretty good games. But you hold Randall and Brunson to higher standards. Jalen Brunson and Julius Randall kind of cooked Dwight Powell. Dwight Powell's only weakness, in my opinion, for the Dallas Mavericks. And Randall just doesn't box out at times. So, yeah, he put up some good stats, but he just sometimes won't show that effort. Uh, Brunson, 30 points, 8 assists, 10 of 22 from the field. So, eh, Kyrie outplayed him, I thought. Kyrie, had, I believe, had 44. And Kyrie's been a beast his last five games, by the way. Because they put on a freaking master class. It just wasn't the next night. They hung around, though, and almost came back, though. Randall attacked all night, and Brunson will have a, probably have a night in Memphis. But Kyrie, he's, a, he's been a base his last, like, five games. Put up 33, 7, and 5. 52% uh, from 3, 65% true shooting. So he really outplayed Jalen Brunson, I thought. Uh, Isaiah Hardenstein, 8 points, 3 assists, had 15 rebounds, uh, 2 of 3 from the field. He just finds the ball in the right spot, and then he finds other guys with the basketball. He had one steal as well. He had a pretty good game, I thought. 5 offensive rebounds, 4 assists, and a steal. And he's a really good role player uh, for the Knicks. OG and Anobi, 10 points, 6 rebounds, uh, 4 of 10. Probably his worst game so far. Um... Probably the worst game so far. But even then, he's still a plus 14. DiVincenzo, 19 points, 3 assists, 4 rebounds, 7 to 13 from the field. Definitely the player of the night. He had 3 assists, 2 steals as well. And he's helped us more. He's helped that helped them more than people wanted to acknowledge. His clutch, he had some clutch shots. And when he's hitting his shots, he's electric. I wish the Warriors had, still had Dante DiVincenzo because he was good for us. Uh, four points, two assists, four rebounds for Josh Hart. One of four from the floor. Grimes, nine points, three assists, three of six. McBride, five points. Uh, Achua, seven points, six re rebounds. Three to three. Probably his best game so far as a neat. Got a little bit more minutes. So, 30 plus from Randall Brunson just wasn't enough. Despite getting nearly 20 from Devin Chenzo. It just doesn't help when you give up 44 points, 10 assists uh, to Kyrie. And also goes, uh, he goes 15 to 26 from the floor, had two steals, 
it the first quarter deficit was just too much to come back from. Um, Jaden Hardy, eight points, six rebounds, four assists. Uh, Tim Hardaway Jr., 34, 32 points, four assists, six rebounds. And he hit a big shot in the clutch to put this game away. And, of course, he goes off against the Knicks. Um, 18 points, 3 assists for Josh Green. 9 points for Derek Jones Jr. 4 points, 2 assists, 9 rebounds for Dwight Powell. And Dwight Powell was just not good. But yeah, it was really Kyrie and Tim Hardaway Jr. that kind of just really dominated this game. Because I'm asking much. Josh Green was uh, probably the X factor. Because Kyrie and T Tim Hardaway Jr. really uh, paved the way. For Dallas and the John Green with a key 18, not having Luca and still win this game's big. So the Mavericks proved to 23 and 16. The Knicks dropped to 22 and 16. 128, 128, 124 is your final score. So that's off to say until next time. I'm out. Peace.